back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a group reward. Like when a player joins a group on Roblox, they'll get a reward in your game. We're going to be using data stores for this. And that's pretty much all we're going to be using. And we're going to be using player is in group, which is how you check if a player is in a group. I'm going to be using my group for this one, uh, CW Softworks. I'm just going to copy the ID right here. And we'll put it in a variable up in the script and server script service, just like this. So we'll just do local group ID equals and then your group ID. Now we want to get the data store. So local DSS equals game get service data store service. And then we want to get our coins data store and our data store, which checks if the player already has the reward. So we'll do local coins data store equals DSS get get data store coins and then we want to do local reward data store equals DSS get data store reward now what we want to do is basically just a simple player joined function and check if and we, once they join, we want to set up the data store and then check if they're in the group. So we'll do game.players. Not place ID. Game.players. Player added connect function p. p is going to be our player object. So now we want to do we want to set up the leader stats. So local lsf for leader stats folder equals instance dot new uh, folder and then put a comma and then P. So it's gonna put the folder in the player. And then we wanna do lsf.name equals uh, leader stats. It has to be named leader stats or it won't work, I believe. And then we want to create our coins. I'm gonna be using coins for this. You can just name it whatever you want. I'm gonna do local coins value equals instance.new number value lsf. So we're gonna put the number value in the leader stats folder coins value dot name equals coins and then that name is going to be basically what uh the leader set is named so now we want to do if p is in group group id and not reward data store get async uh p dot user id there's better ways to do this like using uh using p calls like to make sure to just make sure it doesn't error okay, actually we'll wrap in a p call just to make sure so we'll do uh uh local good bad equals p call function and we'll do if p is in group group id and not uh reward data store get async p dot user id like that then uh basically want to give them 500 coins so we'll do p dot uh leader stats dot coins dot value plus equals 500 plus equals basically adds and then leader stats dot coins is basically where the coins are going to be dot value is the value of it and we just want to print gave re reward like that now we're going to do a player leaves function and this is where we're going to save it so we're going to do we're going to do game dot players players dot player removing connect function p p is again going to be our player object now we want to save the uh data store actually my bad up here underneath coins value dot name do coins value dot value equals coins data store coins data store get async p dot user id or zero so basically if they join the game and they're uh and they're um it'll it'll make their coins value what is saved in the data store but if there's nothing in the data store then it'll just make it zero now down here in the player moving we're gonna do uh local good bad equals p call function like that again you don't have to do the p call function it's just like to make sure underneath the p calls though like 
I'm not gonna add anything underneath it, but underneath the P calls, we can do like if bad then born like oh couldn't save like it'll just make it, it'll just let us know like we couldn't save the data store. Um, then you want to do Kane's data store set async p dot user id comma p dot leader stats dot coins dot value like that and also i forgot underneath here where it says where we put where we check if they were in the group or not we want to set that to true after we give it to them so they can never get the reward again so they can't just abuse it so we'll just do reward data store set async p dot user id true just like that so i think that's pretty much all so let's go ahead and join the game and test so we joined and it, it checked we were in the group it gave reward and we got 500 coins now i'm going to uh go to server view and then do game.players dot lua escape dot leader stats dot coins dot value equals plus equals uh one thousand like that and then go back and we'll have a thousand five hundred coins now let's go ahead and leave the game and once we play again we should still have fifteen hundred coins like that so we don't get we don't get another reward from still being in the group and our stuff saves and yeah you can you can change uh if you like add like something like a comma in one after the uh, reward name on the reward data store it'll reset the reward so like yeah you get the reward again so if you if you want to reset the reward you can do that by just adding a comma and then something after it and i'll reset the rewards so you keep getting it again but yeah if this video helped you you can join my discord server link in the description below uh, make sure you subscribe we have coding helpers in the server helping people uh for whatever you need and yeah